My name is Nishant Mohan. I work for Wasatch Photonics. I do product management for the company, especially in the field of optical coherence tomography. So Wasatch had the proprietary technology for building optical gratings, and that uh, were initially used in development of OCT, and a lot of people will say that they actually enabled uh, spectral domain OCT technology. And then Wasatch moved up the value chain building OCT spectrometers as well as full OCT systems. It brings a lot of different fields together. Um, it uh, involves, uh, obviously, at its core, ph op uh, physics of light. It involves fiber optics, signal processing, image analysis. Uh, so in the end, to produce all those great images, uh, you really need to know uh, all kind of different engineering aspects. And you also really want to understand the problem you're solving, which is related to the medicine and biology. So we worked with a lot of optics people to actually uh, develop the technology, understand where we can go next. And we work a lot with medical professionals to uh, make sure we are solving the problems which need to be solved. So Wasatch uh, is a core technology company, and we supply to all kind of different applications for OCT. Uh, we uh, develop systems which can be used in ophthalmology, material inspection, and all other kind of medical and biological imaging. At Wasatch Photonics, I guess we use all kinds of resources at hand. Uh, we are supported by some public funding, which is SBIR grants. We obviously work with a lot of commercial companies who are our customers, and uh, we make use of all the resources which are available through uh, a society like SPIE or other nonprofits. The way OCT has grown in the last few years, it's uh, almost an equivalent of uh, uh, Moore's law for semiconductors, where speeds for imaging have been growing exponentially and the performance have, of the systems have been great. So OCT is entering a, a new era where it's uh, being a lot uh, used a lot more for functional imaging rather than just structural imaging. The, uh, the growth and the speed at which the imaging can be done is redefining how the technology can be used and it uh, is only really left to imagination now and where we, we can go in future. I really think the biggest driver right now is converting images to information. Um, we can collect uh, great images. Of course, you can always go deeper and faster, but it seems like uh, uh, people are doing more than it's expected out of them. But I th really think the next stage is converting images to information which can be easily used uh, uh, for the end user. It could be a clinician, it could be someone working in quality control in an industrial setting or something else. So CT has been a great example of a technique which has come in last two decades where uh, this technique was uh, funded by public uh, it was uh, funded by, or it grew through public funding, and then it was uh, commercialized by private sector and has been supported by nonprofits like SPIE, and an example being OCT News, uh, which is a great resource for OCT. So it shows like how uh, public, private, and nonprofits can come together and produce something which is of great value for the society. I still really think it's amazing how OCT uh, technology, for which the first publication was uh, out in 1991, is almost a billion dollar industry today. Uh, there are very few examples like that. And it's, it just shows again when uh, we can put all different kind of resources of private, public, and nonprofit uh, uh, components. It's, uh, we can produce something which can be of great benefit to the society, and OCT is a perfect example of that.